Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create a new distribution with Mila and release it to CPAN and manage the versions and all that stuff. Mila is a distiller profile, uh, which means there's a lot of plugins and bundles and uh, minting profiles that you don't need to configure at all. Uh, you just need to add um, Mila plugin bundle to your dist ini and then it will just do the right thing for you. Um, I think I don't think it will work for everybody, but I think it's it's great for many people, and I uh, I'm pretty sure you can enjoy using it. Even if you have tried this cell before and then you know somehow gave it up or something like that. First, you need to install a uh, dist Mila, and there's a little bit of a problem with uh, doing this because. Uh, this Mila is built on top of this Zilla, which has like 140 dependencies by itself. And Mila has a few, quite a few dependencies on top of Zilla. So in the case of a fresh Pro install that doesn't, doesn't have any Pro modules installed, it will probably take uh, maybe five or six minutes to install all of these dependencies. All right, so I just skipped the installation process and then it took me uh, eight minutes and it installs 195 distribution that are also dependencies for Mila. Uh, I recommend you to use the cpanm-nq option so that uh, the output is a little more quiet and uh, skip the test because running the test for 200 distributions will take a lot of time and CPU. So, uh, after your installation is done, you have to run a setup command, mila setup. Um, if you have already installed distilla and have done diesel setup before, uh, you can skip this process because it basically does the same thing. Uh, you type your name and email address and the default copyright holder in, in this case is just as you and what's the default license for your uh, distribution um, just choose power 5 and if you want to enter your pose account you know username and password here you can do this but if you already have configured uh, CPAN uploader modules or uh, like stuff like ship it uh, it's already configured for you so you don't, you don't need to do this right now so config is created uh, let's create a first new distribution. Uh, use the Mila command with the new co option. Uh, Mila new and like Acme uh, Mira tutorial. This will create a new distribution under the current directory with the name Acme dash Mira tutorial. Let's just seed it into it. Uh, you, re you notice that it's already managed with the get repository. It's not committed yet, so you see uh, a lot of new files are added for you and ready to be committed. Uh, you can just see the uh, contents of the file, like this any file just contains just one line at Mila plugin bundle, and you got a CPM file uh, to describe your dependency for your distribution, like the minimum pro version and a modules that you need uh, with, with the version number. So um, let's just commit that. Let's add some features to, to this module. Like, I gotta know, uh, sub hello and return hello. You see this, this this POD file is is filled with the boilerplate so that you can edit like uh, tutorial samples. Um, you can edit. Uh, something like that. Uh, the author and copyrights are embedded in the part. Uh, usually with the distiller you going to manage this in the any file 
or just generate from someone else. But with Mila, I recommend you to embed these this information inside a part of your main module PM file, and Mila will just pick it up from the part file. Uh, it's just backwards. Um, so uh, edit that file. So just commit that change. Um, update PM file, and then. Let's make a new release. Uh, let's see uh, what what you have in changes file. You see, there's uh, a bracket, double brackets with a dollar next sign. This will be uh, replaced with uh, the version number and the date time of your release. So you don't need to manage it yourself. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is um, Mila release. And Mila will figure out what the distribution name is from the current directly. And guessing the version number and license and all that stuff from the PM file. So this is a 405 license and copyright is, is me and the version number is 0.1. Uh, it asks you what's the, the version that you want to make. Uh, you can change it to something else like 0.02. Uh, but right now you can just use 0.01. Um, so it, it's it's asking me to if if I want to upload to CPAN. Uh, right now I'm just testing it, so uh, I'm voting the release now. Uh, if this is the first uh, distribution for you to make with Mila, to avoid some some problems with the badly minted modules, uh, Mila provides a fake release environment variable, so you can create that the release without uploading the module to CPAP. So you see there's a preparing to release with fake release instead of the upload to CPAP, so you can type Y. So you see there's, there's a problem with the, with the setup. Uh, a git push plugin complains that you don't have a remote uh, to push changes to. This is a requirement for Mila, so uh, I recommend you to use the GitHub for this. Uh, you can, of course, create a new repository on a GitHub with a browser and add a Git remote to it. But there's a, a little nice tools to that to automate that. One is the HubGem. Um, it's a it's a Git wrapper. Uh, it's written in Ruby, so you need to install with the gem gem install hub and then hub create. Uh, it will create a new repository for you. There's also a module called ph cpanem up ph and then install with the a ph import to import your current directly on your github. Uh, right now I use the hub create command. This in the background uh, creates a new repository on my github so you can see git remote dash b to see there's a origin and all that stuff. Uh, when you run the mill mill build command with this it creates a new build. Uh, you see there's some changes in the current directly. Um, you see the meta JSON file is updated with the resources, the bug tracker and the repository URLs because you created a GitHub repository and then Mila automatically figures out the, what's the bug tracker in the Git repository is. And you notice that readme file is updated from your PM file. So you don't need to update the markdown file uh, but I recommend you to check in is uh, build file, changes file, meta JSON file, and readme file on your Git repository so that uh, your GitHub looks nicer with the readme markdown file as well as meta JSON and build PL is is essential for someone to install your module from the Git repository without using uh, Mila or Distill. So uh, you see, there's uh, temporary files and. Uh, in the in the current directly, the build directly and the tables, uh, it's ignored with the git ignore by default. But if you want to clean it, uh, you can run the mail clean command to just install it, uh, delete it. So uh, right now we have a git remote, so you can just go ahead and run the fake release command again. 
and it will upload the module to the get and then because it's a fake list it doesn't upload anything to cpan but if you run it without the fake list command it will upload the stuff to cpan you see that uh, when you run the git show command uh, Mila automatically update the changes file with uh, the dot that are, that are next with the actual version number and the time so um, and all the uh, readme file and meta.json file is updated automatically so when you want to make a next of these let's make some changes again and hello world Ruba. and so let's make a new release 0.02 um, you know these 0.02. Mila figured out, figures out the current version is 0.01 and scans the changes file to see if the version was already released. Because it's already released, it bumps the version automatically for you. But you can change that to 0.05 if you want. Um, but hey, there's, there's an error here. Um, the git check complains about your PM file has some uncommitted changes. Um, because you changed the, the content, but you haven't che checked in. So let's check in first. And then uh, make a list again. Uh, this time again with the fake release. Um, there's, there's another complaint coming from Mila, um, you have a changes file, but there's no content, no, no entry for the changes file. Um, so let's add, add that to my changes file. So there's a next tag here. So make a new line, uh, do some indents. Uh, I recommend you the eight spaces. Uh, update hello method to return something different, whatever. And then save it. And then run it again. Uh, the changes file are okay to be dirty, so you don't need to commit the git change. But if you want to commit the change, it, it's fine, but you don't need to. So check in changes. Uh, change is okay. Uh, so make, uh, make a list again. And changes are committed and to the git and push to the git repository. Um, so the release is happening automatically. When you get log, there's a 0.02 um, commit, which is uh, uh, update the tag with the, with the actual date and update the meta JSON file with the new version number, and uh, the version in the PM file is updated as well. Uh, when you see the uh, git tag, there's a, there's a tag for uh, each revision version as well. Um, instead of just just a hash. So that's it. Um, if you already have a module and you maintain with uh, module build, make maker, ship it, uh, it's easy for you to co convert it, migrate to Mila as well. Maybe I'm going to do another screencast to explain something like that. Uh, but for now, enjoy uh, Mila. Thank you for watching.